Hey YouTube, it's Lena Ma and today I've got a makeup tutorial for you, a chatty one and I'm going to be showing you how I created this look. Keep watching if you want to see how I got it. Okay, so first things first, I'll tie this mane back. Every time I take this off, I can't see this so I don't know if I'm in focus, let's just hope for the best. So I've been to the drugstore and I picked up some new products. This is one of the new products, it's the Rimmel Match Perfection. Now I have this already, but the colour was too light for me and I think this is the right one. I got it in 400 natural beige. I'm going to take nearly a pump of it, not quite, about that much. And I've got a damp beauty blender, but this is just the Primark one. I really like this, it's only a pound fifty. I went and got another one because I liked it so much. It's quite good, the only thing is this bit isn't as tapered or pointy so it's a bit hard to get in those areas but other than that, for the price it's really not bad. Now I've already moisturised my skin with the simple uh, moisturiser with the SPF 30. I always have to use something with an SPF because I don't want to get wrinkles and it's always good to start early. Best way to protect your skin now. Don't buy into all these fad creams, just use something with an SPF, even in the winter. Protect that skin of yours. I hope this isn't patchy, because like I said, I can't see without my glasses. This sponge definitely works better when it's wet. Um, I tried it when it was dry and it just soaked up majority of the product. It didn't leave much on my skin, so definitely wet it first. And I just wet it under the tap with water. You don't have to use like Fix Plus or some fancy cordially water or whatever it's called. I'm going to get just a tiny bit more. I really like this foundation. It's currently on offer in Super Drugs. I think it's like $4.99. Still full price in Boots, but if you want to have a go with it then go to super drugs the only bad thing though i think this was like the second darkest color that i found there so i don't know why they do that it really bugs me it's hard to find a concealer in the drugstore if you've got olive undertones or yellow it's just difficult I haven't found a good one the maybelline ones are quite good because they're quite yellow um next i'm just going to do my brows before i conceal and i'm just going to groom through them. I don't really do much to them. I don't get too fancy with my brows. Oh, actually, I'm going to moisturise my lips first. And brows, that's what I was doing. And in my brows today, I think I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. This is the matte one. So all of the colours are matte. I think I'm going to use this colour here. Always tap off the excess. Now, I usually start about here and then whatever's left on my brush, I just fill it in. Now this bit, I find it hard to talk and do. I've got like full concentration, that will do. Same on the other side. I think they're okay. Once that's done, I'm just gonna groom through it again, just make sure it's all blended. That's about all I do. I don't really put a gel through them. I find that when I do, it takes off a lot of the product. And yeah, I don't really, I don't know. I haven't found one I really, really like. So to prime my eyelids, I'm using this a Makeup Revolution I Love Makeup Eye Primer. I think my favorite eye primer I've used is the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I don't have one at the moment. So this is gonna have to do. Now the main reason I wanted to do this tutorial is because um, I made an order on ASOS and I got the Mary Luminizer highlighter. I've heard a lot about it and I ordered it and I wanted to use it so <laughs> this is my excuse. Today I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution chocolate palette and I do tend to stick to kind of earthy warm brown tones just because that's what I like and today I'm going to go for something a bit more smoky and very warm in the crease so the first colour I'm going to use is this one here it's just um, it's like a matte warm tone brown on a big fluffy brush this is a MAC 224 and I'm just going to place that all in the crease um, concentrating it yeah mainly in the crease the socket so what's everyone doing this summer? Has anyone got any holidays planned? Anyone going to any festivals? I'd love to know what you're getting up to. I don't have anything planned. 
except I'm gonna go and see Dave Chappelle in July I think it is so I'm really really excited about that um, yeah let me know what you guys are up to this summer I like being nosy and finding out give me some summer inspiration it's given a nice wash of color but it's not as warm as I would like so I'm gonna go back to this matte palette and I'm gonna take these two kind of orangey looking colors I do want something a bit more orange, but I don't think I have anything, so it's gonna have to do. The drugstore have some really nice things at the moment. Um, I know MUA, like the Lux range, they've come out with some nice bronze and sculpting, um, bronzer contour things, it looks really, really cool. Going back into my chocolate palette, I think I'm gonna use this kind of medium warm brown kind of shade. Just on a flat eyeshadow brush, this is one by Everyday Minerals. I'm gonna place that on all over the lid. I'm not really going past the crease, it's mainly concentrating it on the upper lash line. The same on the other side. I don't know if I like this color, I might use something a bit deeper. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take from the same palette this darker brown, and again, it's matte on the same brush. I just want the color here a little bit darker. I'm gonna concentrate this mainly on the outer corner. And again, not going past the crease. Because then there's more of a contrast between the colour and the crease and the one in the lid. On the lid, sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't really call funny faces like that. I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush. This is a crown brush. And with no product on it, I'm going to just blend all of that together. Going back in with those warmer colours, I just... I want more of the orange to show through. I feel that one side's more orange than the other. Blend, 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 blend. I could blend for hours. I really could. It's quite therapeutic. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Oh, uh, I'll come back to, no, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. Taking the same flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take this medium warmish tone again. Just gonna place that on the lower lash line, but I'm literally just, tapping it on, I'm not smudging it in or anything. So it looks quite hazy, and I'll come back to mascara. And I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I think it's in the shade 25. I'm just gonna dot it where I need it. This is usually the areas I conceal. I don't like to go too heavy under the eyes, just cause I do wear glasses, and like I keep saying, it gets quite annoying. And taking the same damp beauty blender. Do you guys recommend any other drugstore concealers that are good um, for people that have tanned olive skin, that have more of a yellow undertone? Let me know. I'm gonna powder it a little bit. I'm gonna use the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 220. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques cheek brush. I'm just gonna do a very, very light dusting of that where I put the concealer just to set it a bit. But I want to keep the glow on the cheeks so. Just gonna curl my lashes now. This is the Shiomura eyelash color. It's definitely the best one I've ever tried. I think I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because it gives sort of nice wispy looking lashes which I like. I think this would look really nice with kind of false wispy lashes but I'm not about the lash life. I can't, I can't do it. So this will have to do. Now, I don't really like to go too crazy with the mascara because that's just a mofo to take off. Tiny bit on the bottom, not too much. This mascara is very buildable. I find that no matter how many coats you put on, it doesn't look too clumpy or spidery. It's just quite fluttery, which is good. So I'm not gonna contour the face because I don't really like how that really looks on me. So I'm using this Too Faced, um, this is a medium deep matte bronzer and I'm just gonna use it just to give me a bit of a color and this is a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush. So I still put it in the same places I would contour but because the brush is bigger, it's not so much concentrated, it's more just like an all over color. This smells so good and I love that it's matte as well. I'm also going to use this Makeup Revolution All About Bronze palette. I think I'm going to use this color here. Again, in the same areas where we placed the Too Faced one. I'm going to use a blush as well. 
just on the apples of my cheek but again I want to keep it quite brown so I'm using this NARS Silvana blush one of my favorite blushes and again it's that really nice brown tone if you're not into pinky blushes there's a slight shimmer in it but it doesn't really show off it's not too heavy I'm gonna move on to highlighter now I'm really really excited to use this time for the Mary Luminizer highlighter now this can be used as a shimmer eyeshadow too I don't know what brush to use Ooh, it's so pretty I'm gonna use this real techniques brush I don't know what it's called it's rubbed off people say this is quite heavy like you don't need a lot so here goes Ah, really excited Ooh. this ah I see the height I don't know if the camera is oh you don't need a lot I see what people mean this is lovely I'm probably going overboard with this but hey I'm gonna use it oh I feel like I'm just dripping in gold um, I'm gonna take a teeny tiny bit on my nose as well a little bit on the cupid's bow lips what am i going to do to my lips i don't know i think i want to use spirit by mac we'll see how that looks just because i feel like it's quite heavy already not sure how i feel about it i want to warm it up a bit more so i'm going to use tom ford sweet spot just sort of in the center is that better let's see there we go Hope you guys like it. Let me take my glasses off so you can see the highlight. I don't know if you can. I wanted to try out some new products. This is the look I created. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like, to subscribe to this channel, and stay tuned for more. Peace. Hey, it's just me again. I'm just letting you guys know that you can check out my last video by clicking on the box just there. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to click the subscribe button too. Peace.